When using X3, we go higher repetitions. So the minimum amount of repetitions you do should be 15. There's a very good reason for why. And it's not a research-based reason, it's a practical-based reason. Because you're seven times stronger in that stronger range out here than you are back at the bottom, the weight you're using in that stronger range is far beyond what your one rep maximum would be. So like for example, when I do the chest press with this bar and the elite band, that's the, the one I use, it's 540 pounds at peak and I might do 22 reps. That's about where I'm, where I'm at right now. So I do 22 repetitions. I'm sure oh, I couldn't do a one rep maximum on a regular bench press with 540 pounds. So remember, X3 is built to trigger muscle to grow, not so you can talk about how strong you are. If you want to go do a feat of strength somewhere else, as irresponsible as that may be, be my guest. But that's not what X3 is for. So take the ego out of it and do 15 repetitions minimum. Because when you're out here, if you can't do at least 15 repetitions, you're using a weight you have no business being under and you could let go of the bar and cause an injury. You know, it can come and snap back at you in a chest press and hit you in the chest. Uh, it could hit the top of your feet in a deadlift, which does happen from time to time. It doesn't happen to the people who use it correctly, but it does to the people who don't use it correctly. There's rare exceptions to that. Um, one small piece of advice, you might not want to do this while you're watching your kids because they can distract you because they are uh, troublemakers at times. So, you know, if you lose focus while you're doing a heavy weightlifting experience, you, you, you could be distracted and you, and you could let go. Uh, so you want to make sure you're hanging on the bar 15 repetitions minimum. And then for on the maximum side, we go all the way up to 40 repetitions. These repetitions are also very slow and controlled. Two to three seconds up and two to three seconds back. So that is a very slow and controlled movement. Now uh, that forces much more stabilization firing, which then triggers a growth hormone upregulation. So this is why people get so lean so quickly using X3. So that's really important. Now, what we also see sometimes is people saying they want to do a light day and a heavy day. Now, I know why they want to do that. There's a lot of articles written about periodization. Now, periodization does, with regular weightlifting, induce better results. The research has shown this. And the reason why people do like a light day and a heavy day when they do periodization is because you kind of build up, you go light days and then medium days and then heavy days, and then you kind of cycle back down. Uh, the reason is you're focused more on sarcoplasmic growth, which is the volume of a cell with a sarcoplasmic type stimulus, and that's a high repetition type day. And on a lower repetition, heavier day, the quote heavy days, you're using a higher weight to try and stimulate myofibril growth, which is actually the density of the cell as opposed to just the volume, the density and power. So they complement each other, but with weights, you can't get both in one experience. Now, applying this to X3 is not smart because every experience with X3 is the benefit of a heavy day and it is the benefit of a light day. So you get both at once. So the benefit of the heavy day is when you are going to fatigue in this range of motion and using a weight beyond a one rep maximum. So you're triggering all kinds of growth and well, first fatigue and then growth. And then as you diminish the range, because this is a very important part of the protocol, as you can't get to that, to that uh, stronger range, you do shorter repetitions. So my last few repetitions in the chest press are like, let's say half, and my last, let's say two or three, might only be like one inch. Now when that happens, your 
evacuating all of the ATP, glycogen, and creatine phosphate in the cells, forcing the cells to get rid of all of their contractile fuels, which then volumize the cell. So you get the benefit of both in every experience with X3.